Welcome to College Candids with Campus Bound. This is Skidmore College. Matt, could you please give us a quick overview of Skidmore? Sure. Uh, we are a small liberal arts college in Saratoga Springs, New York, just north of the state capital in Albany, and the best Northeast liberal arts college town you will find. We have a student population of about 2,500. Nearly all of them live on campus. Uh, we are offering more than 40 majors right now and more than 1,000 classes in our catalog. Uh, we have lots of students who double major as well uh, or add minors. We have incredible strength in the arts and performing arts. I think arguably the best you'll find at a liberal arts college, certainly in this part of the country. Um, 130 student run clubs and organizations with lots to do, uh, no fraternities or sororities uh, and uh, just a, a wonderful town of Saratoga Springs. And can you give us three words that describe Skidmore student body? Yes, uh, I thought about that and I, I think the best three are creative, kind, and interdisciplinary. As an admissions officer, how would you advise a student to describe their high school activities on their college application? Well, first of all, we will give all potential applicants the appropriate pass here. Obviously, the entire world is, is in a state of upheaval. And if National Honor Society or your dance group or um, or your athletic team is not meeting um, as it used to, we will certainly understand that. So my advice to students would be to continue to list the things that you would be involved in. Uh, if you're on the varsity basketball team, you're still a member of that team, even if they didn't get a chance to play that year. So I would say continue to list things and um, be creative. You know, the, the, the pandemic has had you know, huge psychological impacts on, on, on all of us. And, and it's hard to, to do things online, but hopefully you were able to find some ways to continue to do things. Um, so many things have switched to virtual and, and we will look for some of those avenues, hopefully that, that students were able to pursue. What advice do you have for them trying to research colleges from afar? Well, it is no secret, I believe that colleges have really stepped up their virtual offerings. Uh, prior to the pandemic, there were some things you could probably find on websites um, to get involved and, and, and to learn more about colleges, but of course those opportunities have exploded by necessity. Uh, I would say go for it. Do whatever you can uh, virtually because the opportunities really are there. And in years past, um, colleges, if you lived nearby, would, would hope slash expect that maybe you could come visit. Uh, of course, we know that that was incredibly difficult or impossible over this past year. Virtual visits are easy. You can do them whenever you want. It doesn't matter what time zone you're in. I would say certainly take advantage of some of those things if the colleges offer them because many schools will take into account your demonstrated level of interest. And if you do nothing but apply uh, in this day and age, that's gonna be an issue uh, at, at some places.